to hidden land no? and they are people like uh, maybe llamas going back and forth basically. time you have teachings which are pure because you know if people apply the teachings and then they mess around with it they start into get into fights you know then kind of the power of the teachings decline but if you find a term in that moment the teachings are perfect I was used to seeing these high Rinpoches sitting on big thrones, dressed very elegantly. So when I met Rinpoche for the first time, I saw he was wearing just a red pant and a yellow shirt and he was walking. And then I went there directly to get blessings from him and he gave me hands. And I was a little bit shocked and I thought, how strange. You know, I had this judgment towards him because I, I thought, oh, this is strange. Personally, I think he's, he's an enlightened being in all ways and the more time I um, spend near him and the more time I, I follow his teachings, the more amazed I get, you know, there's always a next level with him. that all the dongs and places here are very connected and it's like different energies flow through different so, valleys and everything. It felt to me like there's, it's, there's a, this huge mandala and we're, you know, traveling through it with Rinpoche and it's like a dance. So we're like dancing in this mandala and connecting different sacred places, like, you know, connecting dots. <laughs> 